There are now over 90,000 certified city volunteers serving in 614 city offices across 56 countries. But only in 1985 did city first establish its first overseas office in Alhambra, California. In today's city's 50th anniversary special report, we look back at how city was able to expand its missions overseas. Su Chi means compassion and relief in Chinese Mandarin. On May 14, 2013, the U.S. city headquarters was awarded the Member of the Year by the National Voluntary Organizations in recognition of the contribution made by its volunteers. When the first city office in the U.S. opened in 1985, it was also the first city office overseas. At the time, we needed a home overseas to carry out Siji's work abroad, so I made a small vow to Master Zheng Yan. I vowed that within one year of joining Siji, I would buy an office for the Master. Not only are we a charity organization, we are also one big family. From this small office, Siji volunteers in the U.S. began cultivating the charity's medical and charity missions in full force. Here's an example of the earthquake down Houston Boulevard near the... Uh... When the Northridge quake happened, we quickly went to buy bottles of water and sent them to Northridge. In the supplies was Tsuji's volunteers' love. Taiwan Buddhist Compassion Relief Organization, Chu T. Chu Foundation USA who donated $1,000 to my family on the spot. Right at landfall is when the worst storm surge. To help those who have been no displaced, as well as... After Katrina, the U.S. city was made a member of national voluntary organizations active in disaster and was the only Buddhist organization within the group. Since then, city has become known to Americans. The master said, since we live and work in the United States, we must become a part of the community. The same can be said about all city volunteers living in different parts of the world. Wherever they are, they spread the seeds of love locally, just like their U.S. counterparts. In Jordan, the Zaatari refugee camp established in 2012 is home to over 80,000 refugees from Syria. It can get blistering cold in winter, and so Jordan's Tzi volunteers have been coming here to hand out relief supplies every year. The Tzi Jordan chapter is actually the smallest Tzi chapter overseas. Established in 1997 amidst the conflicts in the region, volunteers first paid the nomadic Badoon a visit every two months by crossing the desert. Relying on one another in a foreign land, despite the limited manpower and religious and cultural divides, city volunteers are determined to help those in need. Wai so in the seeds of goodness and nurturing them with love, there are even city chapters across Africa, which has been plagued by poverty, illness, and illiteracy for the past century. Aki, master. Even with the continent's limited resources, city volunteers continue to source what they need locally to hold all sorts of city events. Thanks to their simplicity and devotion, over 90% of their care recipients have subsequently become volunteers. Local city volunteers first arose in South Africa, and they have now traveled thousands of kilometers to spread city's message. Amitabu. 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 
Thanks for the love for Taiwan and Cixi. These bags of rice of love are just like the long-awaited rain arriving in the nick of time. Without my bag of rice, me and my child, who's sick, will have nothing to eat. All across the planet, there are blessings to be cultivated. Wherever Cixi volunteers are, they abide by the rule of taking locally and giving locally. To date, over 90,000 certified volunteers clad in their blue and white uniform can be found serving in 614 city offices across 56 countries.